The sound of climate change may not sound entirely like music to your ears. Yeah, listen for yourself in this story from KSL's Peter Rosen. This is the sound of something you can't hear or see. It's still a beautiful city. Or says Elizabeth Curbelo, ignore. That's why she started on this path. There is something harmful hidden behind the beauty. It's the sound of the carbon dioxide that's warming the earth. We're standing on top of the William Browning building on the University of Utah campus. Specifically the CO2. The inverted kind of funnel there. Funneled down to scientist John Lynn's lab. Real-time CO2 and methane levels. It's been tracked for 20 years. The longest urban CO2 record in the entire world. Professor Tim Garrett turned the data into sound. So music professor and composer Elizabeth Curbelo could write breath for spoken voice oboe and carbon dioxide. You breathe 20,000 breaths a day. That's why she hiked up here, to listen to the sound of CO2 emissions. And with perfect pitch. It's like a murmur of B flat. Find the notes in those sounds. Going down to G and then going up. In the sonified data, you hear patterns. It has that rhythm. The annual rise with winter inversions. <laughs> that rhythm is created by, by the inversions. Every beat is an inversion. The daily patterns of rush hours mimics the harmonics. That first sound, the da, Of an oboe. That you hear in data from other cities as well. But you also hear something missing. It tackles with human emotions. From the data alone. People remember that. The fact is, is that equations and graphs don't communicate well. But music is something that I think throughout our history we can relate to. For Curbelo, this is a way to cope with an uncertain future. I need to do something to help myself. And to act. Breath is just one piece of artivism for Earth. An effort she co-directs merging science and the arts. For example, Arctic Ice Data played on piano. To raise awareness. If we could hear this silent buildup. Breath begins quietly. What is the song and sound pattern of our pollution? And builds with the rise of CO2 into a massive sound. Carbon dioxide is invisible and silent. But maybe if you can hear it, Curbelo says, you'll stop and listen. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. Peter, thank you. You can hear breath and other music at artivism, the number four, earth.org.